Now, we love learning about other cultures, and we also love eating, so this is perfect. Yeah, and Aroxia is here to show us how to make a healthy, sweet snack. Hey there, good morning. Hey, good morning. So all you need are walnuts, a needle, and some thread just to get started. Do I have your attention yet? I know it's yes. an interesting combination. <laughs> there are a number of names for this dish. Some call it sweet suju, some call it charot. I'm from the city of Gyumri, and I grew up calling it kyoma. So whatever you call it, Chef Arazeda shows us how to make it. Today we're making... We're making suju. Suju. So we're making suju or sharot and one of the most beloved sweets and desserts in all of Armenia. And in Armenia they call it sharot. Sharot. Which uh, I've never heard actually. A lot of people haven't. I didn't hear that until I first went to Armenia. Is this a dessert you would say? I would say it's a dessert or a snack. Really it's just grape juice, grape molasses, walnuts and a little bit of sugar and some seasonings. It's just very time consuming to sit and thread these all. So okay. you can smash the walnuts mm -hmm. and then you have these perfectly delicate walnuts or you can buy already shelled ones. I did it! <laughs> Ta-da! Ta -da. Okay. Okay, so now we have to make the syrup. Okay. So in the pot we have two cups of grape juice. We have about a third cup of grape molasses, a quarter cup of sugar, a pinch of cinnamon, a pinch of allspice, and then now you just kind of boil this for a second. We're just essentially waiting for the sugar to dissolve inside and it kind of come to a simmer. Uh, then we're gonna add in our cornstarch flour slurry. I'm gonna put a, about a cup of water in here. So I'm going to drizzle this in, kind of stirring all at the same time. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, perfect. It smells like Christmas. Right? It's those spices. <laughs> so, we take it. Mm -hmm. Like all the way? Yeah. Just there you go. And then we just kind of put this on here. Kind of try and dip it without breaking it. Or burning yourself? Yeah, there's that too. Be careful there. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you do is let the, put this in a cool, dry place, let it hang for about three days or so. Wow, three days. Yeah, so this will drip down. Usually I'll put something underneath it, but it's right. okay. And the, as it drips down, it, it eventually solidifies. It can stay out for a week or so. Um, what I would do after a week is wrap it in plastic. And then, I mean, it'll last months. So we have our walnuts. This is the fun part. So we will cut this end. And then, and you can just cut them like this. It's a fun little snack and wrapped up. Nice. A ball. Ooh. Well, of course I brought it in. Actually, we love you for that. Chef Arzeda is here. He's in the back. I just was talking oh, to him. Right. Yeah. So he brought it in. <laughs> And then I also wanted you to try, because he said you could try different kinds, right? So there's also, in addition to the grape, you've got cherry <gasps> or apricot. Ooh. And the color is so, so beautiful. Here, why don't you first take one of um, okay. what he has created. Yummy. And then I will pass this over as well. And you can try these as mm. well. What do you think? Yummy. It's chewier than I had imagined, right? Yeah. So you, I like it. You, this is like a healthy snack, and it is like a dessert, and you know, you just mm. have at it. You said this is grape? No, sorry, cherry? I like cherry. it. Cherry. Yeah. You know what? I've never tried the cherry. Can I actually try that? Thank you. That's good. So, um, I hope you're hungry, because I did mention that he is here, because... It's delicious. Coming up, Jen, we're going to be making, or he's going to be teaching us how to make a traditional Armenian breakfast. Ooh! Oh. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. So stay wow. Tuned. Wow, this is good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's There's just like a healthy of candy. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Maybe good okay. for kids too. Yeah. Well, coming up, everybody.